Planks. Okay. Tries to steal one anyway. Uh oh. Uh oh. You're in trouble. Alright, he didn't get the memo. I think he was AFK or something. Boom! First blood. Vicious love with a plus two. He's hidden. I mean, one bar, she gets the kill, but. Not today, it seems. Wait, that'll do it. That'll do it nice. Oh, and the curse on two. Not too shabby. Omar, he doesn't want to cast a spell. Where Clinks is going to get taken down by Blizzy. That's a pretty sexy kill. Oh, was this a. Oh, they're getting Coyote. Why is it. Keep... Oh, they're getting Coyote as well as a top. top. Adios, man. Chat, chat. Now, newbie pops it off for the exorcism. A nice rotation from Kyra. He gets a little clock blocking in here. The sucking thing with the body assault. He turns back in, Lena. Not going to be something you're going to get too much out of. The interrupts from clockwork cannot be. Um, I just love just trying to get his level six. The sucking coming in from the backside. Omar ready with the roots. Uh, well, I mean, if you've got the Laguna Blade. Which he does. Not bad. Not bad at all. The Night Stalker's in. He's got the silence. The hookshot from downtown rise is controlled a little bit, but he scoots off to the side as the global silence comes through. Now Blizzy with the rolling thunder. He's trying to get in on top of this. Noob with the sucking rise. He's trying to fall back left and leaps forward. Actually catches out the Death Prophet. Bramble Maze finds nothing. Guess he does find something though. The Night Stalker rise in the trees, taking him down. The Laguna Blade was used during that. Quick shot, start things off on Rise. They do have Chronosphere, so... I mean, now that the Exorcism's rolling, do you even want to go in there? Probably dropping the DPS downtown, maybe? I don't know, he's getting ripped apart by the Ghost, right? Wait. Where are they? What happened to the ghost? No. Mini Sun Void. I just love held off on the back line here, but they managed to spread apart. Now the Chronosphere goes out onto the Night Stalker. Doesn't really achieve too much. Rise is boosting out there. Vice's love is dead. Rise to It's the dust going out actually to get information. He clinks. He has an Aegis, so a difficult fight to take the Gleipnir. That's, that's a problem. Now the shot in as well. Blizzy getting handled. Absolutely kited around here. Vites just love falling as well. I mean, it's a... Okay, left and eyes on the prize. It's a Night Stalker during the day. So he has no Dark Ascension, could be easy enough to bring him down, you, you say that, Omar will get here, here's Clockwork now as well. The rest though, well oh, there's Clinks, okay I was going to say they might be locking in DPS, but Clinks is here, Rise trying to fight his way out of this without a Satanic, it's sort of working, question mark? Like you're coming back, uh, Rise so low, will die, here's Lucas with a Chronosphere if he wants it. Surprise! Uh, he gets him with the Chronosphere. Nice. Really nicely done. Okay, easy cut cut. Good usage of Midas by Lucas there as well. Okay, the dust goes out. Here we go with the Chrono setup. Clinks is caught as the damage pours in from downtown. Hello! And the DKB from Noob. He goes through a little sucking in, trying to deal with Vice's love. Actually pulling him away here, the Ghosties. Kind of kill him on the side of things. He's still alive somehow, some way. Lena elsewhere being humble. They do wrap around. Look for Blizzy now as well. Lefitin, you got anything in the tank? No, it feels like they just managed to split them apart. And despite a beautiful initiation, it's all gone tits up. They want to go looking for Lucas. You see that as soon as he shows in the lane, they smoke up and immediately start moving downtown. Catching by just love. That's a beautiful loop shot. Lizzy though, maybe he's going to cause some problems here. Vice is loved, he's toast, the Rolling Thunder will be interrupted. Now the Silence plus Lightbeer on top. Lucas in with the BKB Chrono, but it's too late for Blizzy. Clinks will go to work. They do find Night Stalker plus one. Popped up. Hang on top. Wait. The Global Silence to protect the Roshan. The Age is going to get scooped up by Rise. 
Clizzy already rolling thundering in here. Clips on the side of Clint. Catch the Night Stalker on the way back, though. That's not too shabby. The BKB is coming through now. Oh no, Rise taking so much damage. I don't even know where it's coming from, but he's just going to get popped off almost immediately. Faceless Void is down for 72 seconds. Clizzy getting rectified elsewhere. And TA2. Oh no, they see that they see Rise's battle dome. Kyrie with the jetpack. There is no escape. No! Oh man. Oh no, the Hexation Nation. The Gleipnir, they force him away. He tries to get some BKB action off. The BKB's off, but the sucking And uh, Clinks, he's not helping that Chrono, unfortunately. Can they actually use Chrono to kill anyone? He almost got the clockwork, question mark. Blizzy trying to roll his way back into the base. Gets annihilated. Mielis is in here with a ginormous golden hands of beat down, slap down, smack around downtown. No, the buyback on the Lena. That's a dieback on Lena. Nice not fire buying back herself. Lucas, what's he doing? I don't know. On the dire. And Kaiori with the jetpack gonna start things off. A hook shot in. Finds Lena. What a no scope from downtown. Rolling thunder into the chronosphere. Things are happening. It's all very quiet because of the global silence. Is it working though? No, the root, it's holding Lucas down for too long. They smashed someone. No, yes, maybe they bought back on the clockwork. Lucas trying to go back in, but <laughs> he's dead. They're not even caring. They're like, let's push. Somehow they know the GG's are out. The GG's are out for game one. Somehow they realized there were no buybacks. Even then, I don't think they can hardcore push. Weird, weird read, weird read. Oh. So, To that, that was a nice two man stun, by the way, from Lefferton. Uh, first blood. Fell out of it, but not quite in the position to do so. Omar with the initiation, ready for the dispose, but Nick's assassin ready to engage. Carry find this tiny, it would be great for them if they did. The dispose the tower gets Omar. Lefferton hunting noob, noob with like what 10 HP left, literally 20 now. Give him a right click. Oh no, he's out of range. He's got stun in two seconds. Ah, the deny. It's not happening. Gives him the avalanche toss combo. Here we go, Marcy. Leviton trying to stop this from happening again. The dispose is there. Here's Io on top, though. That's going to be too much. The abilities will be up. The punches will come down. Kyori under the tower. One, two hits. No, Tiny will absorb. Now Nyx Assassin being hunted as well. I mean, it is not. Lock and blade finished up. Right, they look for this melee as kill before he gets his level 6. And it's pretty quick, they find it. Quite smooth. Rai's trying to get enough damage done on Noob here. <laughs> He's like, please, just a little bit more damage on either of them. I want to do Reaper Scythe. No, I'm dead. Oh no, Slark is here with Io. That's just going to be a cleanup now. Town, but by the time he gets there, Vice's Love already dead. Can they find Omar at least? This is a scary prospect for Lucas. Especially with the eye on top now. He's come in here to his death, question mark. Well, there's a black hole on the Monkey King. They relocate in. Hello, with a stun from Vice's Love though. There's no way he has shard. That was just one stun. Did all that work? Higher. I don't know. I guess Monkey King got something off as well. Lucas still going to fall though. Oh, Lefferton has a stun as well. So was, ah, okay. Okay, they trade three for one. No idea. He's exorcism. Ah, he won't get the heal from it in the end. This is rough though, because here comes TA2000. A little swap out for Rise, keeping him fresh. But the avalanche follow up from Noob. It's too much magic damage. Rise is down. Go for Omar on the right hand side. Can get one back for easy Katka negatory, sir. As here comes Slark. The leap forward onto Lucas. He's getting shrecked. They right, right through them. Double kill for Noob. Noob running in here with some magic damage. Left it and ready. And he misses the eye. Oh, unfortunate. There's a dead Necrophos. So the Wukong's command is out, but not going to connect on anything. Clark trying to come through here. Where's the stun? Not going to be there. Noob with the follow up. The avalanche toss. Bam, wham. More bam and more wham. 
Easy Cat Cat looking second rate in this matchup. Okay, I mean, there we go. That's a decent... He doesn't die. Oh, I mean, he does. Eventually, Blizzy, he's in there with the Suckening and the Exorcism. Trying to fight Death Prophet under Exorcism. Never a great idea. And they finally actually find some ground. Three kills unanswered. Because I'm about to, you know, slander them for being second rate. They actually come through with the woo. I think it was Monkey King. Alright, the Wukong's on the high ground. Works out a little bit here. The Spirit Vessel munching through Rise, though. They just have nothing, honestly. Yeah, the GGs are up. They know, they know. They're just, they have nothing, like. Outplayed, outclassed, outdrafted in both games. All right, the thunder's coming, boys. Right.